Kara, you have emphasized the importance that a youth group that wants to be experienced as warm and welcoming needs to be authentic, where young people can be themselves. Yeah. There are ways in which we must nurture that, but there are ways we must really try to avoid behaviors that undermine that sense of safety, that yep. sense of uh, freedom to be authentic. Yep. What are some of the things that youth workers really need to be attentive to in terms of avoiding? Yeah, you know, I would say two different answers come to mind. Um, one has to do with who the youth leader is and are they being their authentic selves? Because I'll tell you, especially the older that we get, kids can tell when we're trying too hard to be young or we're trying to use certain vocabulary that really doesn't fit us. In fact, my own teenage kids, they have a growing list of things I'm not allowed to do or say because it feels like I'm trying too hard to be young. So, you know, I think we have to look in the mirror ourselves and say, are we really being ourselves? Because kids will pick up when we're not and we have such an influence in the tone of the ministry. So start with ourselves. But then the second thing I would say is be aware of your own biases in terms of the kids that you tend to gravitate toward or even prefer. You know, for a youth pastor who's really into sports, they're gonna, gosh, it's gonna be hard for them to not celebrate sports accomplishments to the exclusion of other accomplishments. For that youth pastor who's really into drama, are they constantly celebrating their kids who are into drama and those accomplishments and experiences versus others? So all of us have biases about what's important to us and we tend to lean into that kind of kid, talk more about that kind of kid. Um, and so then that becomes the bias of the youth ministry and kids pick up pretty quickly. Well, I'm, I'm not an athlete, so the youth pastor is never gonna come to my Boy Scout event or I'm not, uh, I'm not somebody who plays piano or I'm not a musician, so the youth pastor is never gonna come to my tournament. Um, and kids pick that up. And so, you know, we need to be egalitarian in terms of how we celebrate, show up for, talk about kids' unique experiences and unique talents. Because as we, as we validate kids for who they are, they'll better validate each other for who they are uniquely.